Women in the Arts is a charity. It's a nonprofit organization and it was founded in 2007. Our mission is a two-part mission. First, we um, promote and we recognize and give visibility to women artists. And then the second part uh, of our mission is to uh, reach out to the community with open access art classes for um, everyone. To me, it stands for like women empowerment and an opportunity for women who have the shared likeness of the arts to be able to come together and express themselves through their artwork. Celebrating the Genius of Women, which is the title of the exhibition, uh, started in 2010. Even though we met and we started preparing for that exhibition in 2009. And to have the opportunity to have a group, group exposition and then also to do it in March during Women's History Month. It kind of gave us an annual theme that we follow throughout the years and we've continued up until this day. We've seen that since we, since we began that uh, exhibition, the community at large glo globally is changed in respect of how they view women artists and, the, uh, and how women are being uh, treated in the workplace uh, with the Me Too movement and uh, in other uh, social uh, happenings, for example in Orlando with the Pulse tragedy, we have been able to respond to that and to include and to be uh, vibrant about uh, what is happening in the community. This, this is not only an art exhibition, but it's also a social response to what's, what's happening right now. Speaking of um, social response, I think one of the things that I enjoyed about the exhibition is that as we opened it up to the international artists to be included, how the artists would come, and there were women from all different cultures, all different backgrounds, different generations. We had millennials, we had, you know, Generation X, we had baby boomers. There were like women all shades that were coming together and their stories were depicted through their artwork. And every year when we would have the annual award ceremony, it would be like a sisterhood. And it grew from year to year. Well, I think it's important for the Orange County Library System to provide a platform for women artists because first of all, we're a public facility and people come in every day and people that normally may not be able to visit an art museum can actually come into the library and have exposure to artwork from different people and walks in life. But be, to be able to actually come in and to see a group of women artists on display who may not have otherwise been able to show in a studio or a gallery because of the cost, for them to have that opportunity and to receive that exposure, not just, as Maria said, um, locally, but globally, I think that's really, really amazing for us to be able to offer that for Women in the Arts. What I hope that people get from this year's exhibition is um, an insight into the artist studio, if you will. And, and I think because of the pandemic and the challenging times that we're living on right now, uh, we have asked the artists a set of questions to, uh, to understand better what their situation is. And for example, some of the questions are, um, what impact has the competition have uh, had in your in your career and then what is new what are you working on right now uh, what have you learned from your successes what have you learned from your failures uh, what uh, what are your needs right now? What do you need? What is important to you right now during the pandemic time? This year, uh, we will uh, host some of the artists at the physical library, but our goal, our major goal, is to uh, have the digital library at uh, the Google Cultural Arts and Institute, uh, where uh, that would be for a, a global audience, for the entire world to see. If you're an artist and you're interested in uh, participating in, in, in the competition, in the exhibitions, and in the future, please uh, check out our website, womeninthearts.org.